Hey, what's guys, my try so long, and I just woke up because yeah, I've been recording slots every day, so like it's pretty normal for me to just wake up and just record Celeste. We are almost done, so thankfully I don't do this too long. I will be uh, starting the playthrough, starting to record the playthrough, uh, two playthroughs from now because of a certain thing. I'll explain that in like episode one of that playthrough, though it won't probably be that long. Other than that, the next one is actually going to be, the next playthrough actually is going to be pretty easy to record. I don't know how hard it's gonna be, or how easy it's gonna be, but we're gonna see how it works. I did have to edit a lot for the first episode, I don't know. But I haven't started it yet. We're in a bonus video, Celeste, and... You know, it dawned on me, but apparently 201 isn't the maximum amount of strawberries. How can we fix that? And also, show off assist mode as well as variant mode. It is a bonus video. We got to have something of worth. We're mostly just gonna have fun, so I'll probably keep Evan's ability on for the entire the entire way. On gain speed, one hundred percent infinite stamina. Okay, for now, let's just do this. So, let's start off with the first assist mode option, which is, uh, just... Obviously, invincibility, which is something I use to, like, get me through certain very tough places, but... You know... It has often helped. But... You know, if I just talk about that, it's gonna be kind of boring at the end. Let's talk about some other things. Gain speed. Now, game speed I've been using occasionally and mostly for the seaside as well as chapter 9. I usually go for 70%, but it does go uh, all the way down to 50% and all the way up to, well, the normal speed. Uh, for this, for the purpose of this, since we have invincibility, there's no re real reason to turn off, to turn down the game speed. Uh, infinite stamina obviously is what it sounds like. You have, you can climb forever and as long as you want. So I'm gonna turn that on, just so we can, so we can see uh, how ridiculous it is, because it is pretty ridiculous. Because we have invincibility, we can just... Uh, do whatever we want. But this one looks pretty tricky, so we're gonna turn on infinite air dashes because we're going to finagle our way around everything. And you know what? It feels so nice. This is what I use to do golden strawberries because, uh, well, I could just turn on invincibility, but I wouldn't be able to pass most obstacles. Or at least some, some require some difficult techniques as you may have seen from my later but but using invisibility you can also t you can also learn what's uh, what's solid and what's not like for example these spikes uh, they aren't solid. And you know that sludge in chapter 2 aren't solid at all. And usually with invisibility it means you can pass through many of them without a hitch. Which is very interesting. You can just pass your electricity for save point. You know, we don't need umbrellas, man. Just flying up. We can just do this. Can 
fall straight down. I just wanted to hit that springboard. We come to this section, which is the obviously very long section, which does take a while. A very, very long while. We only need one key, I'm pretty sure, though, so like, we're gonna go get that key. Whichever one we want. keys are. I actually don't remember what the keys are necessarily. I know there's one here. So we want to go for the top lock here. So we can just jump right out up. Ayo. Um, we can also just maneuver like this, so like... Jum. I didn't usually get to do something up there, I just forgot what it was. Oh, I think this is just for another key. You, you don't need it. For our purposes, we don't need it. And now we are at my favorite song because uh, I really enjoyed this song while I was playing Chapter 9. It's, it's so good, man. It honestly feels like something you would play like, at, a, at a wedding or something. Like, <laughs> heck, I would probably play it for my wedding if I ever had a wedding, but that doesn't seem likely, so, uh. Or at least it's not, it's not happening anytime soon, I'll tell you that much. Man, that just got kind of sad for a moment there, but you know what? This 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 section is pretty fun actually. Uh, we can talk about the last option, which really is actually pretty cool. Dash assist, which if you turn on whenever you dash or whenever you hold you hit dash, if you hold dash, you can use your uh, your directional buttons to uh, go in any angle you want, and it'll take you there and freeze the screen. While you're, uh, well, while you're uh, trying to aim your direction, which is very nice. It's honestly pretty fun, but it does slow the game quite a bit if you're doing it. Uh, I was wondering how to get through that, but I actually don't know how to get- I forgot how to get through that, honestly. This one's a required one. I remember this one. This one's just a little bit annoying. I don't really like Dash Assist, or at least it didn't really help me that much. Well, it wouldn't have helped me that much in Chapter 9, at least. So we're gonna carry this key along, which is gonna be really fun. I also just love uh, maneuvering with invincibility because you can just do whatever you want. You have to do this one, okay. Okay, so I, I talked about wave dashing and wave dashing is a prime mechanic of chapter 9, but there is one other move I learned, but it, it doesn't really seem to be very helpful, which is this. Not, not, not what was there, this, that. So if you press dash and jump at the same time, I'm pretty sure at the same time, I'm pretty sure it's not an order thing, uh, you can do something like that, which, you know, it gets you the same distance as a dash, but it doesn't really... It's a dash and a jump in, at the same time, but it doesn't really get you much distance, because this part's still really creepy. This is where we left off, so now we're on 
part 29, basically, again, eight minutes in. Because, well, you know, we are playing through this. For some reason, they felt the need to put a barrier here, and I just find that kind of rude. There was an internet cafe where you learn how to wave dash. So I probably wouldn't have made that if I didn't have dash assist because of the fact that uh, I, I was pretty low when I did it. Do I need it for this one? Yes, I think so. Otherwise you won't even get here. But yeah, I love, I just love freely dashing around with no care in the world. just. Pure fun. Yeah, you don't need that one. Just for movement. Oh, this one's pretty rough because you had to, to wall bounce a lot. This one's alright. Uh, it wasn't the best, but it's alright. Ooh, this one this one's interesting because you gotta You just gotta wave dash a lot. I wonder what we can do here. I think we can just do this. Yeah, because you, you can, since we're invincible, we don't obviously get hit by the spikes. So we can just go through them in different orders. And that part, that last part, is how I normally did that. Yeah, I don't want to do this again. I hate this one. Maybe I'll search up after this, like, what's the hardest level in Chapter 9, because I I don't know, or I, what's, the, what's the hardest screen in Chapter 9, rather. Yeah, I don't care about your golden feathers, I'm just gonna... I'm carrying this key for the rest of my life. Um, where is the goal? Up right, I forgot. Yeah, I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm just gonna do that. This one's actually pretty fun. I like the screen. I feel like a bonus video would warrant me uh, playing, uh, doing bonus stuff after I have beaten Chapter 9, like quite a bit of time, maybe like a month or something for a bonus video, but it's been like one day <laughs> since I beat Chapter 9. But I'm just testing out some of the, you know. The bonus video is just to showcase stuff, so I can also need to get the 200 second strawberry, which is the golden strawberry. Outrun everything. Or your money back. I'm gonna go to Zoomies. Well, this part, th this one's really fun. I really enjoyed this one. This one wasn't that bad because I love the ice crystals and got used to ice crystals. As well as fire crystals, which are fun. This one just like turns to yeah. But at least there was a checkpoint. There's a fake checkpoint. 
or a real checkpoint, but like they give you an extra checkpoint that's not necessarily just the screen, which is very nice of them. I very much appreciate it. What was- oh, it's up there, right? Oh yeah, this one's the one where you're like, oh, I gotta do it like this. What the- wait, okay. I don't like- oh wait. How much of it do I need, the big dude? Have you all seen Big Man in Splatoon 3? He's a fan favorite, and I, I do think he's my favorite out of a deep cut. I haven't played the Splatoon 3 demo and, and or like demo slash first look thing. I I don't really think I'll. I was thinking about getting Splatoon 3, but uh, it's the only shooter like I play. Or Splatoon 1 was the only shooter I played. I didn't play Splatoon 2. But I'm not sure if I'm if I really want to play Splatoon 3. Oh, this part, man, the the blocks. I hate the blocks. You know, they were okay when I was when I was getting cassette tapes. Here, ooh. I really do like this part because uh, we do team more with battle in and as well as the bird, which doesn't does it have a name. Zoom. So at first it's just like, oh, the, I'm helping the bird, you know, get free from the electricity panels, and then it becomes not that eventually, but there's still quite a bit of electricity in the beginning. I just love hanging out with the umbrella. Oh, if you if you travel too far. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. If you travel too far and don't use the bird, he'll he'll still keep up with you. It'll still keep up with you. As well as battling. I feel like I should have tried that before. This room, I hate this room. Now, oh, this room is the one where it's like, oh. They're actually just trying to kill you. Actually, I, I didn't realize, but they do actually incorporate electricity a lot. More than I, than I remember, at least. 
I guess you can only grab the bird at station areas. Well, this one, or this one. Can you? Yep. Specs aren't solid. Fish. Oh, this section. I hate this section. <laughs> what a passion. I'm gonna guess you can't progress without the bird. I don't really want to try. Uh, if I hit, if I get soft locked and hit retry, I had to go all the way to the beginning because of the golden strawberry. If I hit retry normally, I would actually be going to not all the way to the beginning. Or should the end here? Jimmy's such a good normal route because I haven't done normal route yet. You know, because I use assist mode for the end here. My eyes. Lightning everywhere. Dun -dun. Sick ending, man. Say goodbye to her, man. Or me. So you don't get that in the other route. It may not seem like much, but you don't. Huh? What's this? I haven't been here before. What? Ah, I shouldn't have just skipped the cutscene. I feel like I would know a lot more about what to do here. Now we have reached the promised land. I'm pretty sure this is exactly the same now. Not bad. And now, our save file is all golden and fun. Yes, what a beautiful image. A golden save file. But now we're turning to Very Moon because we want to do it. We're gonna have fun. Oops. We're going to chapter two. Oh, 
All right, let's talk about variants. Variants. Oh, variant mode replaces assist, so... Okay. Welcome to variant mode, where uh, you get lots of stuff to make it more fun, you know? Let's talk about one that doesn't really affect us too much, because I am using not a joystick. 360 dashing. There is no real difference for me. Since I'm using arrow keys, like, I can only really go in 45 degrees and 90 degrees. Yeah, okay, we have body on. I didn't realize Vibarian mode allowed you to have assist mode, which is why I was worried why it uh, turned off assist mode. But 360 dash doesn't really affect me. Invisible motion. When you're moving, you're, vin you're invisible. Did I say invincible? When you're moving, you're, you're invisible. You can play Solid Snake if you want. You have to keep moving. Or... So, I don't know why I called it Solid Snake. Metal Gear Solid is the game. It's not that really there's enemies in this game, so like, you don't have anything to hide from. It's mostly just platforming, right? But invisible motion is mostly for fun, though all these are just mostly for fun. You may notice gain speed. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you can go all the way down to 50%, but the right arrow can still go further. How far? 160%. You can go zoomies. Actually, I'm gonna do this for my, for my, for, for getting the full clues right after it. Right, probably right after this. Oh yeah, if you get invincibility and you bounce off, you can you can bounce off a dream block. Uh, if, and you and you're gonna hit a wall or whatever. Uh, you uh, you bounce off the wall. But my, my problem is I'm worried if you might get softlocked somewhere because of that. Because maybe there's a situation where you end up bouncing against a wall a lot. Perhaps. There's cassette tape. I don't want to do this because I already did. Um, the uh, full clear for this one. I'm just here for practice. It is fun to just do this and zip around. Anyways, how about we go to one where it uh, doesn't really do anything at all? Other Self, which you can't see right here. Um, you can play as Badalyn. Neat. I'm gonna assume it doesn't change any cutscenes. Let's go check. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it changes cutscene because Madeline was still there. I, I would be impressed, but that's a very unlikely thing, so I'm, I'm pretty glad you don't do that. Super dashing! Yeah, your dashes go very, very far. <laughs> Much farther than normal. It's pretty, it's pretty cool, actually, but I don't really see myself using this that much, unless... I want to make things easier for myself. It'll help dash through the level when I get invincibility or infinite dash and stuff. So we can go ahead and turn it on. Low friction. I just don't know what low friction means. Oh, is it just the... I can't tell if that's this because it's super dash. Oh, 
I don't, actually don't know what, what, what friction means. No grabbing is what it sounds like. You cannot grab onto anything. You can hug it, but you can't grab onto it. You probably still wall jump. Yeah, you can still wall jump, but you can't grab onto anything. Mostly for uh, a challenge, I guess. 360 mirror mode is basically your. Is this Mario Kart 8? Uh, you make things flip around. Which may, can make for some interesting results. It's pretty cool, but I don't see myself using it because I'm so used to the normal level and I don't I have no reason to do so that now. Except for fun. And I think the last thing we have to talk about is hiccups. Every an, an unspecified amount of time, which is uh, random, by the way, because you can tell this is not consistent, you will hiccup, so to speak. Uh, you'll do a little bounce, and that also occurs on walls. Which means you can scale heights further than you ever have before. Though... It's fun, but I wouldn't be able to take advantage of it because I'm just that bad at this game. It is a pretty funny one though. Now if we could just have one where instead of hiccuping, it's her sneezing. Because that sneeze animation, man, it's adorable. If we could just have that every single time, that'd be great. But as far as variants are concerned, that's all of them. Uh, I don't. I don't really know what low friction means. I know what friction means. I just don't know what low friction means. I guess it means you. Do you just slide around the wall or, or something? You don't, right? Maybe it's like you climb. You fall faster. No. We're trying super dashing and keep the game speed. Infinite stamina. Infinite dashes and its ability on. Because uh, I'll be using that to get the full clears. After I get the full clears, I'll be making the bonus video. Sorry, this is the bonus video. I'll be doing the 100% video, which is uh, will be the final video on Celeste. This is an incredible game, and I'd like to point it out. This is a 30 minute episode, and I probably won't be recording Celeste today. I'll either be doing Celeste full clears or something else. But yeah, as for now, I think I'm good on Celeste. I did spend 30 hours, 31 hours of my life on it, and I don't regret any, any single minute of it. I like the, I, how the, all the stamps look, it's very nice. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the 100 Reports episode, where I talk about 100% of the game through the use of this Let's Play. I know I use this mode, but I'll explain it in more detail in that video. See you guys, stay safe, bye.